what we really came here was yeah. all about was Firebase, right? So let me just kind of give some feedback about my experience yeah. with Firebase was that it was painful, right? I, I come from a background of, you know, you have an API and then from there you can kind of, it's easily to migrate your data, right? Because your, your, your interface stays the same, but your internals can change and that's okay, right? But for Firebase, mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. I was using it, we just used Firebase directly from the Android app and uh mm -hmm. sorry from the from the flutter app and we wanted to do some changes with how we did data and yeah i i just don't know a good, good way to, to change the data uh format and also still keep things kind of running smoothly for previous apps because you know people just don't like to update their apps mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. that just happens or they wait for the app yeah. to be yeah. updated by itself when you're sleeping right and and i believe you said you know yeah. how to do this so i'd love to hear more and people i'm sure would also love to hear more I also know I'm not the only one who has the same problem, right? The same grievance yeah. because I talk to yeah. other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's very funny. So first thing, again, you're mixing Firebase and Firestore. <laughs> so let, let's just start from the beginning. So Firebase. I think, I think everybody does the same thing. Yeah, Firebase. Firebase uh -huh. is, is a product from, from Google. It was acquired uh, years ago from, I think it was a standalone startup and Google acquired it. And Firebase is, is really toolbox, and it has lots of lots of different um, different let's say mini products. Uh, so it's authentication, remote config, Firestore, um, uh, real time database, analytics, etc. Right. So this is Firebase, and what we are talking about is Firestore. So Firestore is a database, NoSQL database, and what you said is exactly true that. No SQL, uh, nothing is, is linked with anything. When you have MySQL, right, you have tables and you can set relationships. Um, user can have car, right? So a user will have car object, but, and every, every single entity of user will have a car, right? So it's, uh, it will be either null or I don't know, whatever, whatever your schema is. When you go to Firebase, uh, user can have a car as an object, but also that car can not even exist. Because every single, every single you know uh, document is standalone document. So in Firebase, you can think of uh, you have collections and you have documents. So collection is uh, is a table, kind of, and the table and the document is actually the entity within that uh, within that table. So yeah, no SQL, no relationships. And the data migration is, is a pain. Yes. Um, you have to apply completely different strategy, completely different mindset when dealing with NoSQL. It takes lots of time. Uh, right now, I'm jumping uh, between, you know, so I was working before with REST APIs. So it's MySQL. And then I jumped into Firestore. It was painful. But then I really started to work really well with Firestore, uh, like data modeling and stuff. Because data modeling, it's, um, you really need to spend lots of lots of time. Um, uh, so I, I, I can share about this a little more, but yeah. So I, I went to Firestore, NoSQL, and right now I'm dealing again with, with MySQL. So actually now to switch back to MySQL, it's just so hard to understand all of these relationships and how to model data. It's actually much easier, but uh, for now, actually, I, I prefer NoSQL. Um, so the main difference is that the speed since there is no relationships, the execution speed is extremely fast, like milliseconds. So when you when you deal with the app in uh, having you know Firestore database, you cannot even see any loading anywhere because it's it's pretty much immediate. Everything happens immediately, pretty much like zero point x seconds, right? So this is this is the um, the upside of uh, of NoSQL. The downside, like how, how do you choose between NoSQL or MySQL? Uh, because uh, again, there is no single answer, but usually you will go to my uh, with MySQL if you have complex queries, because since there is no uh, no relations, it's quite hard to query data in in, in Firestore. Uh, but again, Firestore has Algolia, uh, so we can go to use Algolia service. Everything is um, linked, I think, real time, uh, synced real time. So it's also uh, the solution. But getting back to your question, um, how to migrate data. To, so there are different strategies. 
um, the, the very first one, you have to have just different environments. Um, so one is the one is production, right? Because uh, you really cannot allow yourself to, uh, to have app in release and model your data in, in production because you can very easily de delete a field in NoSQL and your app might crash. Because again, uh, if you delete uh, one field, like user has an age, right? So if you delete age in MySQL, every single user age will be deleted. But if you delete age in uh, in NoSQL, only from that particular document age will be deleted. Other users will still have age uh, as a field. So yeah, this is this is really the case. And then you really have to start working with um, cloud functions. And with cloud functions, you really have to utilize them that whenever happens some update, you really want that um, particular thing to happen everywhere. So for example, in this particular case, um, if you want to get rid of you know age, you just would write cloud function that um, on this particular um, field deleted, for example, you just delete, you have to query pretty much whole Firestore database and find field age in user and just delete it. So it's really, you have to utilize yourself, the cloud function. It might sound, you know, hard, but once you deal, again, once you deal with, uh, with NoSQL, it's, it's getting easier and easier with every step. Um, the data, if you want to change, let's say, age and you, you want to call it like, uh, I don't know. H2, I don't know, I'm not creative. <laughs> so you wanna you wanna change from H to H2, right? So you just literally just uh